This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that my Mad Fat Diary is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Sharon Rooney played the character Ray in the series when she was 25 in 2013. See, at 35, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Glasgow, Scotland. A million times. Sorry? 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 Sorry. And so much going on that she keeps totally separate from the dawn that she lets everyone see. Mm -hmm. So it was, an, it was an interesting character to play. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Tony Pitts played the character Chloe's dad in the series when he was 52 in 2014. See, at 61, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Sheffield, England. That though, is it? So what do you mean? She's not been in France. I don't know where she's been. I do know that she's had a break down there. Everybody's doing that, I'm doing that. I was the second punk in my school. Keith <laughs> Taylor was the first punk, but he was the fifth year and I was the second year. Ian Hart played the character Dr. Kester Gill in the TV series when he was 49 in 2013. See, at the age of 59, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Liverpool, England. Really good for you. Just so you know you're not alone. Nah. Danny goes. I know he'd love to see you there. I've seen people do, uh, someone did a knitted version of me. Uh, no, not even knitted. Uh, what's it called? Felting? Where you actually just stick bits of wool. Turlow Convery played the character Liam in the series when he was 23 in 2014. See, at 32, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England. You're very good at talking me out. Most times I'd just be off. Find somewhere to hide out until it stops throughout two and three he really begins to understand his place in the world he begins to understand himself really clearly um and it's like Sierra Bexendale played the character Izzy in the tv series when she was 18 in 2013 see at the age of 28 she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Lancashire England a little bit I'm excited but you know the other day at the bra shop yeah Chloe looks so good in her underwear. She looked Same role in a TV series, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever because I wish we had more of stuff like that. I wish we had more, like, gender-blind, colour-blind. Sophie Stanton played the character Principal Dixon in the series when she was 43 in 2014. See, at 52, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, England. Well, maybe this is a sign that you're not ready. There's an argument to be made for deferring a year. No, please, please don't make me do that. I don't that want that. That way you can come back when you're a bit stronger. No, please. That misogynist and why is he a thief and all that business. And um, I sort of quite quickly come to the conclusion that actually basically what Falstaff wants is to be loved. And the minute you kind of go... Jordan Murphy played the character Chop in the series when he was 25 in 2013. See, at 36, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England. I'll try. You know, I'm there, Raymond, though. I'll step in, she won't touch her. Can't hit a girl, though. I'm not saying I'm gonna hit her. I'm gonna pull a bounce of that shit. We can all do it. Put in a big, you know, mansion, put into unrealistic circumstances, all your creature comforts are stripped from you. Right. No Xbox, no porn, no shopping, no internet, no, no... Sasha Parkinson played the character Stacy in the series when she was 22 in 2014. See, at the age of 31, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Greater Manchester, England. Someone is saying something, Stacey. I'm saying something. Hey, Amen. Don't bother. I'm saying you're a bitch and it's... When I first signed, we kind of had this idea that this story may happen. This right. is where they wanted to go with the characters, but it wasn't a definite. And I'm, I, I was saying the other day... I Jodie Cummer played the character Chloe in the TV series when she was 20 years old in 2013. See, at 30 years old, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Liverpool, England. I thought it might not be a date. You guys hang out all the time. 
You even kissed yet? No. I don't think it was a date. What about what he wrote on your back? You must. Um, essentially how her life is turned upside down because everything that she's committed her life to is called into question. Um, it's a one-woman show. It's a one-woman show. Have you Claire Rushbrook played the character Ray's mom in the series. When she was 42 in 2013, see at 52, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Hertfordshire, England. Okay. Got gammon, sandwich, ham, hot dogs, pork balls, chorizo and spam. Oh, it's lucky we're a family that doesn't eat much pork. In the same way from the heart, um, a real... Um, people will have fought hard for funding and to have made the films that they wanted, so... Shahzad Latif played the character Dr. Nick Kazar in the series. When he was 25 in 2013, see at 35, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, England. It's a shame. Why is that? Because I never got a chance to do a sex on you. Right. Yeah. For like 15 years and, and it's just so mad to get to do a film with, with one of your friends and it made things a lot easier on set. And I think it just helped with the movie, in terms of, you know, understanding our role. Nico Mira Allegro played the character Finn in the series. When he was 22 in 2013, see at 33, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Greater Manchester, England. <sighs> What's this? When I say it, to be continued. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I find those events very stressful. A long walk helps me to... decom... Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in my Mad Fat Diary? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.